can you spot a fake memory card? This is a Samsung 64 gig Evo micro SD XC memory card. Taking a look on the front of the packaging. And now on the back of the packaging. I'll now open the packaging and take out the memory card as along with the adapter. Here we go. Is this a fake memory card or is this a genuine one? You decide. Well, this is the front of the card. Let me spoil it. This is a genuine card. As you can look on the sides, it's white and it's made in Korea. Here are the two side by side. One is genuine, the top one, and the lower one is fake. As you can see, the side of the card, the fake card, it's black. As you can see, the print quality is not so great. But now we can look in where we're looking at the genuine one. Print quality is much better. The side of the card is white, as it's supposed to be, and it's made in Korea, not Taiwan. On the fake. These cards are very hard to distinguish unless they're side by side, so pay close attention. These are on your left hand side. We have the our genuine packaging and on the right we have the fake packaging. Look how close they are. There are very little differences between the two. We will start off with the genuine one. The genuine one, the image on the front of the packaging is very crisp and clear. But the one on the right is not quite as clear. The genuine one has four languages on it. And the one on the fake one on the right has only two on the rear of the packaging. Take a good look. See the front of the packaging is not quite as good looking. Very close. The FCC logos are in different spots and Samsung Electronics are different. Here are the adapters. The adapters, the one on the left is fake and the one on the right is genuine. The one on the right has embossed Samsung in it and made in China. The one on the right has nothing, no printing on the back. As you can see, the one, the, f the genuine adapter is very white and fake adapter it's a little off white a bit off white in color very easy to spot together 
of their beat. Very hard to spot when they're alone by themselves. Same same story goes for the front. That fake adapter. The print quality is not so great. Here where I'm benchmarking the real card. You'll see how fast it is. The real card will bench part benchmark faster than the fake card. It's not so easy to spot the fake because the fake card when you insert the fake card it shows up as a 64 gig card however when you pass about 8 to 16 gigabytes of recording to your card all your data disappears or gets corrupted so when you're trying to retrieve your files they either won't be there or they'll be corrupted so it only records about 8 to 16 gigs it's still a card but it's not a, a full 64 gig card so take it as you may it can be very inconvenient for trying to track down files and it's it's obvious that the f the device that you use does not know that this is this card is a fake and so it's easy to be fooled. So examine your cards before you leave feedback on them. Ensure that you can write the full capacity to the card before you leave feedback. Here we go almost halfway through the halfway through the benchmark. Coming up close to the end of the benchmark. And the genuine card reads at about 17 megabytes per second and writes at about 15 megabytes per second on average. Now we're going to benchmark the fake card and see what the results are. A 
As you can see, the bench, the fake card is significantly slower than the genuine one. Somehow it benchmarks faster though. I'm allowing these benchmarks to play to show the true results of these benchmarks. This proves that I didn't tamper with anything. It ran freely by itself. And the results will show. To reiterate, reiterate the, mo the major points, the, the micro SD card, the genuine one, is made in Korea. The fake is made in China. The edges of the black the black edges of the the fake one has black edges and the genuine has white edges. Those are the major differences accompanied with really bad printing on the fake cards, but they're very close. Here are the results for the fake card. Fake card reads at about 14 megabytes per second and writes at about about 4 megabytes per second. 